All right, welcome back to Board Reviews. Nick here. Jody there. And usually I choose the videos for us to react to, but Jody's got one for us today. I'm excited about that. Jody, which one are we checking out today? Mickey Flanagan about Christmas shopping. Um, it's a full interview with Alan Carr, Chatty Man. We don't know anything Chatty about man. this. I just saw the thumbnail and Mickey Flanagan was in like a black and white striped shirt and it looked like a French braid. Like he looked like he was like a mime or something. I don't know. And not like the paint or anything, just his outfit. Oh, but yeah, 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 yeah. I was just intrigued I gotcha. and I was like, ooh, what is this? So I was like, let's react to it. Let's check it out. If you like our reaction this way, in any way, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded video. And hopefully we can have this out before Christmas comes out so it's a little more better with the timing. But it's Vicky Flanagan, so I'm excited. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Quoi? What? What? <laughs> Don't start all that with me, Alan. I've got the look, not the language. <laughs> Why, are you? Why are you dressed like that? I've been to France. Well, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> so got, how many more clues do you need, Alan? I know, I know. <laughs> look. I thought you'd appreciate it as well. Come oh, on. Yeah, I love dressing up. You're yeah, either going to look yeah. like a freedom fighter or a moron. Oh, right. What do you reckon? Oh, it's you, Al. Yeah, really? Oh, it's you, yeah. Al. <laughs> Look at this bloody hell! And that's just what I need, stripes across my body, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so what else is that? You got any drink? Oh yes, of course I have. What do you think? Oh, wicked! Red wine. Oh, listen. It's a good one. It's from uh, Lidl. <laughs> Lidl! Well, let's get it open. Oh my god. No, seriously, I know because you got this DVD out, Mickey yes, Flanagan's Detour de Tour de France. Oh, yes, nice. You went cycling. <laughs> yeah, there was some cycling involved. There wasn't. You cycled <laughs> up the same bloody road back and again. I've seen it's the same old bloody <laughs> footage. <laughs> so two hours and we said, that's it, put them back in the van. <laughs> We're done. Let's have a drink. It's so hard though to um, film it. You know, because yeah. even the French have only so tolerant. And they're like, out way, wankers! I'm trying to make a programme here! <laughs> I mean, I, how long... Because you're riding a bike all round France, yeah. aren't you? How long have you been a Valophile? <laughs> <laughs> My old PE teacher was one of those. <laughs> a Valophile. <laughs> have you know I'm, a, I'm a mammal, I know that. The middle-aged <laughs> man in Lycra. Oh, how yeah. did you get on with all that, you know? Cause... Well, I think everyone should put lycra on at least once a year. Because yeah. it's inspirational. Yeah. I think it should be called me. <laughs> <laughs> because you put it on and you go... Okay. Oh. What forgiving, have you done it? to yourself? Yeah. No one's ever going to want to sleep with you ever again. <laughs> <laughs> it's all it no, it's a good look. I mean, what, what sort of stage cheers, you, Oh, cheers, my love. And thank you for so much for bringing all these on. That's so lovely. Christmas, yeah. isn't it? I have a French bread. <laughs> you should. Cheers. That's all right, you know. It's all right, isn't it, for four and a half quid? Yeah, I mean, for Lidl. <laughs> you know, they're not really like those posh people in the Lidl advert. You know, when you tell them, oh, it's Lidl, they're like this. <laughs> <laughs> Get it out my mouth. Get it out my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so there you are, you're flicking through yeah. the Radio Times. Yes. What made you think, do you know what? I think there should be more shows on TV <laughs> of celebs going on free holidays. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, there's not enough of it, is there, no, really? No, no, I'm just, je I'm just yeah. jealous. I'm, because it is great, and you're having fun on here, and it does mm. make you laugh, and I was well, Jill. I'm not going to lie to you. I was watching you cycling around, having a laugh with your best mate. It was great, wasn't it? It, it was looked like you were, Were you having as much fun as it looked like you were? Absolutely. We had such a great laugh. If anything, when we got back, we went into the editing thing, and, and all it was was just me and Noel just, ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> we looked like a couple of morons. Just don't stop laughing. <laughs> yeah, so we had, is there any bit where we're actually talking seriously about anything? <laughs> no. Not really, no, there's a few. <laughs> and uh, because that was the remit, basically, because I'd been asked before, would I like to go on a travelogue where mm. you're doing something, you know, yeah. like helping people? And I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
would you like to go on a traveller where you, your, your life is in danger? We're going to take you down the most dangerous no. road or something. I was, yeah. no, no, you were right. Because yeah. I couldn't see the point. No. You know, so. And then every time I had a lovely sheet going looking for that bloody ark. No. She's going around and I said, have seen Noah, darling. Where are you going to find the ark, love? You're too late. <laughs> she looked everywhere. She, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> she looked down the old Kent Road. There's <laughs> a <laughs> few old shops down there, it might be in there. Um, well, what are you like as a traveller? Was that what you like? Do you do any of the cultured things when you go travelling normally? Or are you just sitting by a pool? I don't know, I'm more of an holiday person. Yeah. Not the traveller type. No, no. You know, these people who just have to go and see things. Yeah. <laughs> and they come back and they go, I can't even talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> and you think, you're going to, though, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to this hour, you're going to tell me about how standing at the top of Machu Picchu, <laughs> I suddenly realised I didn't want to work in a call centre anymore. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't do that. I just yeah. like to go on holiday, good book. Nice yeah, lunch, something to eat. Boozy lunch yeah. and all that, yeah. You know, that's why we chose France, really, because it's a country that I've sort of gone over many times on the way to Spain and yeah. America. And so I thought, no, let's this time let's go through France and find out about these people. But you wear your Speedos on that travel log. Do you yeah. wear speed was that for shuttle? Sure? Do you wear speed? Are you comfortable in speedos when you're on a normal? <laughs> yeah, I will do. But my wife won't have it. <laughs> she knocked it out of me the first holiday we went on because I hadn't really caught up. I hadn't been away for a number of years yeah. and I just packed my bag, turned up, Bosch, speedos on, bum bag, vest. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that, that, it's never been bettered. It's never been bettered, that look. No, no. You yeah, know, it's never been equal. No. For, for convenience, for Definitely style and elegance. <laughs> and, you know, and I thought, well, and, and I came out and she literally looked at me and went, <laughs> this can't happen. No. <laughs> I'm like, well, she said, no, 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 people don't dress like this anymore. Oh, but I'm a bum bagger. I love the bum bag. <laughs> bum bagger. So much respect for the yeah. people who still wear a bum bag. You know where your money is. You know where everything is. Because if you leave it all in a pile with your clothes and you go in the sea, someone's going to nick it, isn't it? Yeah, no, you need to have it over your shoulder. Yeah. Like David Hasselhoff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a look at a clip. This is Mickey having a spot of lunch in Marseille's classiest restaurant on his Detour de France. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm Not every day they put on the email. Now, they must have asked you to do a second series. Yes, they have. Where are you going to go this <laughs> time? Uh, I don't know. I'm very interested in the Netherlands. Yeah. Oh, right. Because yeah. yeah. right. it's flat, I think that'll be a good start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we do that on our bikes, now after, after lunch, ooh, yeah, we can do this. Yeah. Um, I don't know, they just <laughs> seem to, it seems to work there, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah there's never any trouble or any really, aggravation. Well, they're Everyone's... all stoned, everyone's <laughs> off the <their> red, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got, that interests me, going to the, the Netherlands, Holland. Yes. The red light district, yeah. that's what I mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, nice. <laughs> Was in by on your bike. Oh, hello. Did you win the clean love? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take me back it with me. Yeah. Oh, this is free, this one. <laughs> yeah. This is a free one. I mean, when do you knock off for Christmas, love? Are you finished now? No, I've got a few more shows to do. And then that's it, I'm done. Jeez, I'm just going to be inebriated for five days like most men. Just put that face on that you do as a man. You know, you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like that for five days, people keep turning up and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> and what are you getting Mrs Flanagan? Oh, blimey, yeah. What does she want? Well, she does this thing to me where she sort of... About September, she'll see your coat or something. She'll go, yeah. oh, look at that coat, it's beautiful. It? <laughs> and I go, yeah, it's really nice. But she go, Christmas, I could have that for Christmas, couldn't I? And I go, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. So I'll get it for, for Christmas. And for some reason, this gets forgotten about during October and November. And she's like, you're going to get me something for under the tree, though, aren't you? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll get you something. So I've decided to put the receipt for the coat <laughs> under the tree this year <laughs> to remind her. Because <laughs> every year she yeah. does it to me. What are you, what, have you got your 
presents yet, have you? Because it's just torture, oh, isn't it? I know, I don't know what you to know, get after. I wanted some. to go out on that Black Friday, really. That was really? that looked like right fun, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was waiting for Such shoplifting a... Thursday. <laughs> shoplifting Thursday. <laughs> the Wednesday. <laughs> that's, gonna, that's gonna be bad when then we're outside Wonga. Yeah. I need some dough, I've got uh, oh, all these dough. people open up, I'll be in there like a shot. It's embarrassing people getting twatted round the face with a soda stream. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? How many tellies do you need? I know! There were people out there banging in the back of the car. <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was carnage, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was, my love. Well, listen, thank you so much, Mickey. It's always great having you on. Thank You're you just for brilliant. having me. Good luck with the DVDs. Give it up for Mickey Flanagan. That can be it. We were excited to hear about his holiday shopping. That was the title of the video. <laughs> We got it. The coat that he bought his wife in October that she wore and basically said, so what else are you getting me? <laughs> the receipt. <laughs> but see, that's the thing. Like, there's regular working class Joes like us that we get each other gifts and maybe it's just our tradition, but several gifts or whatever. And then you got these rich people and I get it. He's busy this or that. Like, well, I got you a coat in September. Yeah. I think you could afford that. That was funny. I, um... I enjoyed that. I, I had to laugh. And he's like, no, I don't want to make a video of helping people. <laughs> What's the point in that? Like, what? I wonder if that, that series that he did, if it was successful. Yeah. Um, this video came out four years ago, but I'm not sure okay, when it was recorded. Okay, I was going to ask, when did it come out? Um, I don't know if it was recorded before then. It just got thrown on the internet. I'm not familiar with Alan Carr. When I was trying to do a little bit of research on 8 of 10 cast, we just reacted to that. And it's either coming or it's already been out. I'm not sure when it's coming, whatever. But he was on, I think, a few of those. So I think, oh. and I think someone had said when they requested eight of ten cats that you'll get introduced to him. Maybe they meant someone else. I don't know. But um, I wanted to hear more about the holiday. I love Christmas shopping. It's stressful and it's crazy. And this, you know, these days it's mostly done online. But we still do the Black Friday shopping every single year. It's gotten more and more lame. Yep. We've never seen a fight or any kind of craziness happen. You do see a million people with TVs, especially like maybe 10 years ago, like when it was yes. all the craze and everyone's buying a TV. And you do the same thing. Like, do you really need four TVs right now? Did they all go out or something? Or were you just smart and you waited all year until they were $100 off in November? Well, and we don't go out at the crack of dawn. We'll go out like around. We did. We did. Years ago. Years ago when it was good stuff. But now we go out like around 10, 11. Just, I think it's more of tradition now. We just enjoy going together. Yeah. Um, the kids used to be their grandparents and whatnot. And we would just go. But it's like kind of like our thing where we just go together. But um, we did see a couple this year. People like with a TV next to the car because they couldn't get it in the car. And they didn't with know what to do. small cars. And they mm -hmm. thought this big old 60 inch TV box was going to fit. And, you know, we've all been, I mean, I've been there years ago. Like, really? I thought this was going to fit. It's not even close to fitting. Those boxes are huge. You exactly. need a truck or you need a very wide SUV that can get that box. And, you know, you think, I'll angle it. It's not going to work. But, yes, these people with these small cars, right? you thought that was going to work? <laughs> and you're right. They're just kind of sitting there like this. <laughs> and the poor workers trying to, like, do all these different things to get it in there. <laughs> It's just so much fun. Oh, so fun. It's so much stress. It's so much craziness. But you know, when you're our age and we still have all of our kids at home, obviously, and they're still relatively young, our oldest is only 14, you want to like, I don't know, I want to cherish these days because eventually it's just going to be us or we're just going to be buying a few gifts from them because they're older or whatever. It's not going to be the same. No. I do look forward, though, when they come with their grandkids and then it's like Christmas all over again because yeah. it's like, it's that joy. It's still joyful, but all of our kids know now. Um, and so it's like, I'm excited for that, like grandkids, not anytime soon, not anytime soon, but the grandkids no. and the excitement of Santa came and just that. I'm fun. just excited because they're so much easier to shop for when they're younger. Oh, they're they, so cheap. They get excited about They're anything. cheaper to they're shop about for. A box for crying out loud. If you like our reaction to this anyway, please don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time. Goodbye.